Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. I hope that guy doesn't cause us any trouble. Not for my sake, you understand, but for his sake, really. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Right, I think it's time we shut down this Hanar little cult because they are destabilizing the galaxy and that might be a ruin we need to go to. So we're going to have to go and sort that too. Commander Shepard? Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? There's no insults for the Council here. I think this is the best option. We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Ooh, now this is a, a good choice. So most of that up to now was she had a very set opinion. Uh, because we've been so ruthless, I could actually answer her questions without taking too much uh, flack from her, if you like. Uh, her criticisms kind of don't really stick. So I think that interview went very well. But now we've got a good little option here. Let's try and throw the council under the bus, because we hate the council anyway. For a long time, the council sat on their hands with regard to Saren. I have to wonder where their thumbs were. Strong words. It's a good time for strong words. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Well, that seemed to go okay. Hopefully. Right, I need to get on with finding this other woman. Oh. Huh. Can I see other parts of the Citadel? No, it doesn't look like it. I can't remember where we found this uh, reporter that we're looking for. Upper wards. There we go. Ah, that's nice, so they put it on the map for you. That is excellent.
Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Ah, so these are some interesting options. I'm not going to demand more for her, from her. Um, but I do want the relationship to continue. Yeah, I'll get you more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Oh, that's not what I was expecting, but I guess it's a beneficial outcome for everybody. She gets her interview. It's probably going to be less corrupt than that other woman who had a agenda set out before us. And we made some money, so I'd say it was a win-win situation. What else is here? Not a lot. Right, what other quests have I got to turn in? I might want to continue with this. Let's try and uh, just bully the Hanar away. I think that's probably my best plan right now. Because it, they're, this Hanar thing is getting out of control. If they're blockading Prothean ruins, we need to put a stop to this right away. This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you and when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. Oh, I wish I could intervene. No, it wouldn't let me. I asked who told us about Volus and Novaria, but we haven't been to them yet. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. So, I guess I can sell all these assault rifles because they're worse than what I've got. And I think these were worse than what I've got. Money, that's level three, so we'll give that to somebody. Now, do you have any armor that I can afford? Assassin 6 is heavy. No, way too expensive. It's all too expensive. Uh, so it does have a shield bonus. But I don't, I can't use it. And I'm the main one that needs the armor right now. Now, can I wear that? I can afford that. And... It's got a bit more shields than I've got. It's got way more damage protection than I've got, but it's only a level 3. Uh, sniper rifle's rubbish. I think I'll keep saving for now, because I don't think we're going to get into that much combat tidying up our hey, Citadel quests. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? Uh, this is a bit creepy. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. 
Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Oh dear. No, she will not. However, I still think he might just be a thicko who actually does want this stuff of me. Right, what's my next quest? What did I decide to do? That's right, I decided to get rid of the Hanar, which is towards the center of the world, actually, isn't it? I have a feeling you're non-human. Hello there, you? welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Ah, so you've got good stuff as well. I can't afford this yet either. Oh, and you've got an alien armor here. Okay, so how does that compare to mine? Worse, for goodness sake. I wonder if there's Hello unique there. upgrades Welcome in the other part of the shop. shop. You... Oh, you will be pleased, I... No. We want somewhere fairly central, don't we? Outside Citadel... No, it's going to be inside Citadel Tower. Uh, that's probably... That's not too far away. We'll go there. I don't think there's a Hanar embassy, is there? Meet with Nasana. Oh, that's right. That's what we got on the intercom or whatever it was. Yeah, there we go. West, pretty much due west. I hope I can get there this way. I'm pretty sure this is where I got there before. The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try, they are welcome to do so. I think it is time for, to use our newfound license to kill. Okay, we will not be using our license to kill. Right, what ideas have you got? Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. This, this one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the encounter. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. Oh, interesting. I hope I can get this way again if this goes wrong. Let's be blunt with him. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. 
This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Oh, he sounded so sad. But hopefully, now that we've kicked that one out, um, we'll have some options to kick the others out if they're in the way in our ruins. And although I don't necessarily agree with the law, it is the law, after all. I'll, I'll agree with it when it works in my interests, I guess. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh, well, it went okay in the end. What other quests do I have on the Citadel? Conrad Werner, he's weird. I think he's thick. I think he's probably simple. Scan the keepers I'd like to do. I'm halfway there already. And didn't I have to meet someone? That's right. Strange transmission. So let's follow that up. That was back at the Presidium. Back at the Embassy. Pretty sure I'll scan the one by the AI. This is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. The sheer size of this place is overwhelming. They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Remarkable. Nature and technology combined in one elegant hall. My people used to have an embassy here. But after we created the Geth, we were no longer welcome. It's interesting. I wonder if I knew that before. This is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Have I gone the right way? This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. This is pretty suspicious. That sounds like a trap to me. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You can't negotiate with criminals. It's too late. I transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Well... Yeah, it was, it was kind of a foreseeable thing, wasn't it? I mean, he didn't really have any 
power over getting all the way out to the outer clusters or whatever. And I, I don't think you're above the law just because you're a diplomat. And I don't agree with this law, but you're still subject to it. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. Yeah, actually, now you justify the law. It does encourage more kidnappings, so if they put you in prison, that's fair enough. You got in over your head and you expect me to pull you out? This is easy money for you, Shepard. I've already found her. You just need to bring her back. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Anything you can tell me about the mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way, especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Might as well be hanged for a man as a sheep and all that. However, I do want her... Uh, but I'm a bit conflicted because I don't really mind if she goes to prison. I'm not really that fussed if uh, Asari dies from slavers. But equally, this might be Rex's old gang. And we might find a bit more information about Saren out there. So it could actually be quite a good lead to find Saren um, if we find that old... You know, it's not necessarily the same mercenaries or pirates or slavers or whoever. But the MO sounds fairly similar to what Rex was saying, doesn't it? I appreciate all pirate attacks are probably pretty similar. But... Uh, I don't have an option to turn her in. She's never going to go to prison or whatever. And I'm pretty sure people will find out about this eventually, whether we do it or not. So because it's a way to follow up on a possible, very slight chance it could possibly lead to Saren's mercenary groups in some way, or they might have been contacted by Saren, this is a good, good lead, actually, so I'm going to do it. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Now, what other... Okay, I think these are all out of space stuff, aren't they, UNC? Well, I don't know what it stands for. I can probably find out. Ah, oh, let's do that one. Wherever Admiral Kahuko is in Citadel Tower, I can cash that in. I don't know if I've got any more to cash in. I'll have to have a look in a minute. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I found them. What was left of them. They ran into a Thresher Maw. A uh, Thresher Moor? That's not... 
My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. I did. So unless you're saying I'm stupid as well. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. I think it's really my job to go and tell people that their family are dead. But I guess we could probably find out who led them there with that beacon. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Oh, that's good. I thought we were going to take on a job going door to door telling people the family was dead. Which I don't really mind doing, but equally it's a, it's a bit of a waste of my time. And I've got eight level ups somehow. And you don't have anything. Oh, first aid. Well, let's max out first aid, I think. Now, I think you have electronics, do you? Yeah, so we don't need two lock copies of electronics. And this boosts first aid, so that's a good choice. So these are your combat powers. Go for barrier, why not? I seem to die a lot. Stasis sounds like a good option. Perhaps I should head towards stasis. So again, I'm going very defensive here. I think it's a good idea. You could get... Oh, you got first aid as well. Two copies of first aid. It's got to be better than one copy. So this might actually be quite a good team I've got here if I've got two lots of first aid. And I think that's probably it for this episode. Unless there's anything else I've got to cash in. I've got quite a lot of side quests to do. I'll probably do those before getting on with the main game. Seeing as we've started side quests, we might as well finish some side quests. Um, I'll find out what UNC means. And then we'll decide what to do next episode. Thanks for watching. Okay, so none of this is read aloud. Um... And I don't know how much of this is new. I guess all of it, probably. Um, I'm not really sure how to deal with this. So I've got a bit of a sore throat. I guess. Play tutorials. I'll just record this and not voice over, I think. It's not very interesting, is it? So if you want to read this, you can pause the video.